Hi everyone, Lacey and Broody here again from History with Cats, and we're here today to tell you the sad and tragic story of Catherine Howard, the fifth wife of King Henry VIII of England. Now, if you remember back to a couple weeks ago, Broody and I posted a similar video on the phrase, divorced, beheaded, died, divorced, beheaded, survived, which actually references the six different wives of Henry VIII. And as you might be able to tell from that phrase, Catherine Howard, his fifth wife, was unfortunately beheaded. But how did she get to that point? Well, to understand that, we have to go back in time to the beginning of Catherine's life. So Catherine was born around the year 1522, and she was actually first cousins with Anne Boleyn, who would go on to become the second wife of Henry VIII, and who was unfortunately also beheaded, which is probably why Broody likes these stories so much. She's a really mean cat, and she does like to talk about her beheadings. So Catherine grew up in the household of the Dowager Duchess of Norfolk, who was actually known for pretty relaxed morals and rules, and Catherine actually had a relationship with a couple different men when she was living with the Dowager Duchess, and this is something that would come back to haunt Catherine later on in her life. But when Catherine was 17, she became a lady-in-waiting to Queen Anne of Cleves, who was Henry VIII's fourth wife. The marriage didn't last long, he quickly annulled it, but while Catherine was serving as lady-in-waiting to Anne of Cleves, she caught the eye of the king, and they actually came to be married in July of 1540, when Catherine was only about 18 and King Henry was 49, so pretty big age difference. But at first, Catherine was pretty popular. She was well-liked by the king and his advisors, and she actually went on progress with the king in August of 1540, but this popularity wasn't going to last long. Rumors had started swirling by spring and summer of 1541 that Catherine was cheating on the king and that she was having an affair with one of his favorite courtiers, a man named Thomas Culpepper. Now, it's never really a good idea to cheat on a king, especially not Henry VIII, who doesn't have the most promising track record. So things just sort of went downhill from there for Catherine. She and her two lovers were locked up and they were questioned and this ended with her two lovers being beheaded and their heads being put on pikes on London Bridge, which Catherine herself was soon to be floating under when she was on a boat on her way to be beheaded herself at the tower. And she was beheaded, unfortunately, on February 13th of 1542. So now you know the sad story and the sad ending of Henry VIII's fifth wife, Queen Catherine Howard. Until next time, it's Lacey and Broody from History with Cats.